This is gonna be a great video. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I am so happy that you are. Welcome or welcome back. This is Jesse here. I hope you all are doing well. And today I have three unboxings. Um, these are brands that I've never featured or owned at all. So I'm kind of nervous, but I'm a little bit excited. I have been using my Louis Vuitton Speedy B25 in the Emprunt Leather non-stop since I unboxed it. I'll go ahead and have that link down below. I haven't moved out of it or anything like that, but I've been on the search for a burgundy wine grape colored bag, especially now with Halloween coming up and in the fall. So I wanted to try out a new brand and I wanted it to be something under $150. These are actually under, yeah, they're all under $150. Um, just because I dropped a nice coin on this bag, I want to keep it very simple. The plan for today is just to unbox all of these, go over them, and then decide which one I'm going to keep. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go ahead and unbox them in the order that I purchased them in. They all didn't come in at the same time, so that's why I know which one is which. But this bag here is from the brand Radley London. I've never owned a Radley London bag. I know that their signature like branding is the Scotty Dogs, and I think that is so cute, but this bag here is called the Liverpool 2.0. And let's go ahead and take a look. That's the box in there with the packing slip. We're here for this, right? Uh, let's see here. It's wrapped really well. I'll give them that. All right, so I kind of see it from the sides, a little peek here. Let me just go ahead and take off this tape. Oh, that is nice. This is nice. All right, so the Liverpool 2.0 is a crossbody bag. Um, this kind of reminds me of the Celine luggage tote. It's kind of like, you know, with the flared sides like that and then this here reminded me of Jimashi's Antigona so it's kind of like if the Antigona and the Celine luggage tote kind of mixed together and had a baby this is probably what I would picture in my mind but it's a beautiful color this color is called deep cherry this is deep cherry very beautiful very um, sophisticated it's a good size um, I'm going to go ahead and turn you around so that we can get up close. So this is the Radley London Liverpool 2.0 in Deep Cherry. Um, this bag measures 10.2 inches across. And then I measured it myself here and you've got about 14 and a half inches of an opening. Um, it's 9.1 inches in height. And then it's 5.1 inches in depth, but that's at the bottom. As you can see, it kind of tapers off and um, does this on the sides. Now, it does come with an adjustable, is it removable strap? Yes, it is a removable strap. You have like a little loop there, and then you have the holes here that you can um, adjust the length for it. Looking inside of the bag, you have a magnetic bridge closure, and opening this bag is a little difficult to do it's very stiff here on the sides um, but you do have several compartments here let me just take this out really quick this is the little clochette that it comes with so you have one compartment there you have like a cotton lining there that just has the word radley 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 all over it and then in here you have a zippered compartment where you could keep your things um, kept safe there's a little Scotty dog. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, and then these must be like the care instructions. Yeah. So you can definitely fit a Continental wallet in here. Um, you can put much more than that. A cosmetic case, whatever you want to keep um, safe, passports, documents, things like that. And then you also have a back compartment. That is very roomy that's pretty roomy inside and then this this is like a suede or like a microfiber in there it's like a really deep red almost black 
So yeah, you just put in all your belongings and then you're able to snap it closed. And then in the back, you've got a slip pocket. Now, this is rather difficult to get into. I don't think you would be able to fit a phone in here just because the slit is so narrow. But in here, you can definitely fit things like, you know, AirPods, a passport will fit in here, something that's thin, that's not too bulky because this opening is not a wide opening at all. And then up here you have, you know, your two little top handles and that's that. Let's go ahead and try it on really quick. Here it is on the crook of the arm, super pretty. I just paired it with this scarf last minute. I'm 5'7", about 150 pounds for reference. And here it is crossbody. I would probably bring this up a little bit more, but it is adjustable and very flattering. The second bag that I'm unboxing is also from Radley London. Now this is the same color, but it's kind of a different style. It's not the same style. And we will put a lot of tape on this box. And this bag I saw a lot of on um, QVC, but I didn't see any reviews for these two Rally London bags. Like nobody had like actually filmed a review for it. So I was kind of shooting in the dark here. But this is the Museum Tote. Also in the Deep Cherry. too so go ahead and turn it around so you could take a look so it's a nice like little mini tote i can kind of tell you right off the bat that this is going to be a little bit too small for me um i like my totes to be of good size i like for them to be thin though like not you know i don't like the depth to be like really large where i'm like doing this i like my totes to have a nice slim profile which this one does I mean, I don't think this is more than four inches in depth, but it's kind of the same size as the other one that I just unboxed. See? They're kind of the same size. The tote is a little bit bigger, um, but they're not that too far off in size. So... Let's go ahead and get up close with this one as well. So here is the Museum Street Tote. This one is by Radley London, and this is in the deep or dark cherry. It's like their burgundy color. It's a nice soft pebbled leather. I'm not going to break apart um, anything on this because I know for sure this one is too small for me, so this one is definitely going back. But there you have the four little Scotty dogs. This bag measures um, 10 inches on the bottom width from side to side, and then you have a 15 inch um, width here at the opening. You've also got about four inches in depth, and then you have 10 inches in height. It has this beautiful turn lock closure. That's a very nice, smooth, pebbled leather. Right there you have the Radley London logo. Let's see how I can do this. There we go. But this has an interior compartment that's also lined in that uh, soft burgundy microfiber. And then this little lock here is a little turn lock where it turns like that. So cute. I love this part about this bag so much. Um, and then just opening it, you have a zippered compartment here. And inside of it comes the dust bag. And then you have... Are those the Scotty dogs? Yes, these are the Scotty dogs kind of um, imprinted all over this. And this is like a cotton lining. Um, and then here in the back, you've got another large compartment. There you go. That also has that like plush microfiber. And then you have two little slip compartments here. 
this is big enough for your phone and then i guess you can put something a little bit smaller there here are the care card and instructions and then the zipper compartment is lined in this like kind of like um hot pink color like a rose color and it's really cute because it kind of gives your bag a little bit of pop of color if somebody's looking at it like from the side or if they're looking at it from up top this part snaps here like this and it's a pretty strong magnetic closure and then this part up here locks like so so really really cute tote if you're in the market for something a little bit smaller and you don't want like your average size tote this comes in a bunch of different colors too this one happened to be on sale for 129 so it is a great deal um, and they also have this brand on qvc a lot too so if you're into qvc and that's your jam they definitely have this on their website right now while i'm filming it let's go ahead and uh, try it on so you can see what it looks like on me here is me um, styling and kind of wearing the tote. I like it in the crook of the arm because of the size, but I would wear this as a tote over the shoulder. It's a beautiful bag. Um, it's just a little bit too small for my taste. Last but not least, this bag was from Poshmark. It was brand new with the tags, so it's not, you know, it's pre-loved, but, you know, not really. It's a brand new bag. Um, I've never owned anything from this brand. A lot of people on YouTube rave about this bag and I kind of always, it, it was just so minimalistic. Um, it never really caught my attention or caught my eye until I saw this color. I love it when people like send thank you notes with um, their items. Dear Pasha, thank you for your purchase. I hope you have many outings with your new Longchamp bag. Happy Poshing. How cute. You see, it's like little details like that that just make your day. But let's take a look at the bag. Here it is. All right. I'm liking it. I'm loving the color. The color has like a little bit of like a shininess to it, like a sheen. I guess that's just the nylon, like the type of material. But this is beautiful. I've never owned a Longchamp bag, but I'm really liking this. I'm really liking the size of it. I think it's the perfect size for a tote and the Longchamp bags are a little bit deeper than what I would like them to be. Again, I like a nice slim profile when it comes to my totes, but the great thing about this is that it's made out of nylon, so it's a little bit more flexible. Um, you can just kind of squish it up against your arm, but just looking at it there, that's what it looks like. And let's go ahead and Look at this one in greater detail. All right, so here is our final contender, the Longchamp Le Pliage uh, Tote. This is in the color grape, and it is the large size. Here, you just got, you know, this really soft, durable nylon, but as you can see, it kind of has like a little bit of a metallic, like it's not really picking it up that well on camera, but it's, you can kind of see where the light hits that it kind of just has like a nice, sheen to it what i like about this color is that it looks red like in the sunlight and then when you're in like artificial lighting it kind of looks purple like right now it's looking a little bit purple but if i aim it towards the window it looks more red with like a brown undertone so really beautiful color you have your snap closure right here and it has the little Longchamp um, horse. Can you tell that I did my nails for this video? <laughs> um, opening it, you just have that untreated leather on the other side. And what I'm really liking about this is that it has a zippered top. Um, with my totes, I always prefer to have a zipper or a snap closure. I'll do the snap closure, but the zipper for me is the best. And that is a really smooth zipper. I also like that the zipper matches the color of the bag that's a really nice feature and then here you just have you know your little longchamp um, pull and let's see let's open this up here let's take all this out and there's the inside it's just one massive dark cherry grape hole <laughs> and then you have a nice generous slip compartment here that just has that nylon there 
Is it nylon or is it plastic? It's plastic. It's like a really smooth plastic. And then in here, you've got the nylon. So just very simple. I never understood the Longchamp pipe, but I'm definitely getting it now. <laughs> I also love that you can fold this bag and store it. Um, and it takes up minimal space when you're traveling or things like that. So let's go ahead and try this one on. So here this is on the crook of the arm. So comfortable. I'm so happy with this bag. Um, one thing that I do want to mention is that it is very easy to wear. It doesn't roll off the shoulder or anything like that. But I'm really, really loving this bag. So I've got three beautiful bags here. And I wanted to give a shout out really quick to Vivian. Um, if you haven't checked out her channel, I'll have it linked down below. She has a great channel. And she recently unboxed the Marc Jacobs tote bag in the color cherry and that's what kind of started all of this now the mark jacobs tote bag i love it um, but i just didn't want to spend 400 dollars on something that i was just going to wear for a few months um, or whatnot so i have these three options right away this is a no-go even though it's a beautiful bag it has feet and everything it's a gorgeous bag it's nice soft leather it's just a little bit too small for me if this was a little bit bigger like maybe you know three four inches in width and maybe like an extra inch in height this would definitely be a contender um, but if i had to pick between this and this i would definitely pick the longchamp so this one unfortunately is out so now looking at the rally london liverpool and the longchamp um, i like this in that it is a very structured bag it's very feminine it's really elegant i like that it has the like bridge magnetic closure up top i'm just not really feeling these top handles i'll be honest with you the top handles are not that like strong um they're very they can kind of go either way and i just know myself that i'm going to constantly be having to adjust these handles so that they look good another thing that caught my eye was that this is a very deep bag meaning it's going to be jetting out from my side and i have plenty of bags that do that already i have my speedy bees i have a lot of crossbody camera style bags that are very um deep and I kind of just wanted something very straightforward and simple. So while this is a beautiful bag and it offers a lot of different ways to style it and wear it and it has all the compartments that you need, I'm unfortunately going to have to say no to this one as well. Um, but again, it's a beautiful bag. Maybe in another time I will revisit this. So I am going to go ahead and stay with the Longchamp Le Pliage. I love this because it has the zipper up top so I can fully secure my bag. Um, Longchamps are known for their excellent durability. I like the color as well. I like that it has kind of a sheen to it and it looks, it kind of plays tricks on you. It looks like it's different colors depending on the lighting. What else can I say? Oh, I also like that while Longchamp doesn't have the slimmest of bags, they're pretty deep. This is nylon, so I can kind of smush it and mold it and just kind of have it sit on my side. But yeah, this is my first official Longchamp bag. I've never owned a Longchamp bag, but I now that I have it in front of me, I can kind of see the hype behind it. And it's just a really functional bag. I also like that you can fold it up and store it when you're not using it or if you need to pack it in a suitcase. So just more bang for buck this is the way to go let's go ahead and move into it i'm gonna cut all this stuff off what i currently have in here is a lot it's almost filled to the brim but let's go ahead and get into it. I have a mini pochette. This isn't mine. This is a friend of mine's. Um, she lent it to me to try it out to see if I like it because they're rather expensive. Even on the pre-love market, they're pretty expensive. So I want to try this out before I make the investment. But I've been really liking it so far. What I keep in here is just some 
you know, odds and ends. Um, I have a few lipsticks here. So I have the Kylie Jenner Tinted Balm, MAC lipstick, and then this is like a small travel lipstick from Anastasia. Uh, cuticle oil, this little hair comb, which has been a lifesaver for me and for the boys too. Like if I feel that their hair is kind of going out of control, I just take this out and it's nice and thin. Um, really cute. Some eyeliner, a tight to go pen, a portable toothbrush. You can kind of see that a lot is fitting in here. Some single use uh, toothpaste, a compact with some powder in it, a nail file. I have another uh, toothpaste, like single use thing, some mints a Louis Vuitton perfume sample and another Louis Vuitton perfume sample. So all of that fits in here and it doesn't like wrinkle up on me or get all weird or wonky. Um, so, so far I'm liking it. I might invest in one or something like this. Let's see. But that is the mini pochette. So I'm just going to throw that in there. And then I have my Gucci Ophidia uh, playing card case. Now this has turned out to be one of the best ever. I just have all of my medications in there. Um, I also have some things that I can use on the go, like single use, a uh, triple antibiotic, antiseptic wipes, Sudafed, um, Theraflu, in case I'm feeling, you know, it's flu season now, so we're in that yucky phase. I have some Band-Aids in here. I have Tylenol, Advil, wet ones uh, I also have um, some pico in here which is like the equivalent to Alka-Seltzer so it's kind of like you know my on-the-go little uh, medicine pouch so let's put that in there next up I have my Portland leather goods um, journal this is the medium size I believe and what I like about this is that I keep my Kindle in this fold here and then I have you know room for all my notes and all of that on the other side this is probably the heaviest thing in my bag but it's so worth it I'm gonna put that there as well my Louis Vuitton slim purse I'm not gonna turn it around because I have all my cards here <laughs> but there's a nice slip compartment that I usually keep receipts in and then there's a zipper compartment here and then you know six credit card slots in the back with an extra two. Um, I also have some gum, which I'm gonna put this in the slip pocket. I'm also gonna put the slim purse in the slip compartment like that. I think that's good. Next, I have Gucci Flora. This is one of my favorite scents. Uh, this is the bouquet white gardenia, gorgeous gardenia, sorry. And I don't have that much left i have to go get some more of this and i wear that even in the winter even in the fall i don't care it's one of my favorites car keys and house keys it's a must i'm gonna put this in the slip compartment as well so that i can easily access that and then this is the cutest coin pouch this is called the daisy wallet from portland leather goods and it's just a cute little envelope style wallet with a snap closure and then when you open it I've got all of my coins inside. And what I like about this is that I'm able to kind of open it and like really look inside and see, okay, I need a quarter, I need a dime, etc. And I'm just able to pick them out like that. And it kind of goes with my bag too. It's a little redder than my bag, but it's pretty cool. There we go. And then that's gonna go in the front, smaller slip compartment. I have my AirPods. That's also going to go in the smaller um, compartment right here, the little slip compartment. And then I think that's it. What do I have back here? Okay, back here I have my Caudalie hand cream, which I'm just going to throw that in there. My um, massager tool. I went over this on a like things that I'm really loving right now type of video. I'll have that link down below. Uh, but this has come in handy. This and this have come in handy when it comes to like my um hands i type a lot so i have i don't know what it's called but i have some like pain and just like really tense muscles here so these really come in handy 
when I'm feeling sore. And then I just have some receipts back here, which I don't know where they're from. I hop and then I hop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these out. I don't need those. But that is everything in here. I love the slouchiness of this. Um, and that's what happens when you set it down. So I might get an organizer for it, maybe something slim. I don't know. I kind of am liking this vibe though, this slouchy vibe. Right after I took the mod shots with this, I remembered that I had a large tote organizer that I was keeping in my Portland Leather Goods tote. I decided to put it in here just to try it out. And there is like kind of some gaps here on the side, but for the most part, it works pretty well. Um, until I can get one that really fits the bag. But as you can see, everything here fits perfectly. You've got the mini pochette, the journal, uh, hand cream, perfume, the keys, coin pouch, uh, medicine pouch, and then the gum here. And then in here, I just have my slim purse. And then I think in here, I have the little um, quartz stone thing. So I'm going to carry it like this for a little bit until I'm able to get... A better organizer for it thank you so much for sticking through this video i had fun filming this and trying on all the different bags uh, i now gotta repack everything that i just unboxed with the exception of this obviously and kind of um print labels and just send them on their way so i hope you have a wonderful day and take care bye